heavy rainfall today triggers catastrophic flooding in some parts of New England and also New York as well. Here to answer questions about emergencies that are related to this is Dr. Ali Raja, Deputy Chair of the Department of Emergency Medicine at Mass General Hospital. Dr. Raja, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. You too, Erica. All right, Dr. Raja, a lot of our viewers have family or friends. We visited these hardest hit areas. We know they're small towns. They often don't have hospitals of their own. So what can you tell us about the emergency response regionally here? And when do Boston hospitals get involved? Ben, it's a great question. The response is actually really well coordinated, and it's usually through FEMA Region 1, which covers all of New England. So here at Mass General, we have a number of our physicians, our nurses, our allied health professionals, on federal disaster teams. They include uh, teams like the urban search and rescue team, the disaster management assistance teams that can help set up many hospitals, and they or teams like them may very well be placed on standby or deployed as needed over the coming days. Hmm. Okay, Dr. Raja, so I want to show you people the scene from this afternoon in Rutland County, Vermont. Uh, again, they've just seen awful flooding, just a ton of rain there. In your opinion, what makes these situations so dangerous? Erica, like you said, it's the flooding. It can be really unpredictable, and it's really easy to underestimate the depth and the force of floodwaters. Uh, according to the CDC, over half of flood-related drownings actually occur because vehicles are driven into hazardous floodwaters. So if you're driving and you see barriers blocking flooded roads over the next few days, please don't try to drive around them. Just turn around and stay safe. And I know it just takes a couple of inches of that swift moving water that can sweep somebody away. So uh, we know now a flash flood watch is in effect for areas west of 495 Worcester County through tomorrow morning. Another heavy band of rain, Mike Wonkin was saying, could be another inch or two um, coming oh. down there over the next hour or so. So what's your advice about how to stay safe? You, you got to pay attention here, right? You absolutely do, Ben, and, and you nailed it. You know, you said a couple inches, six inches of fast moving flood water is all it would talk, take to knock over any adult and a foot can actually carry away most cars. So the important thing is to pay attention and stay away from flooded areas. If you if you do have to evacuate, remember, take only essential items, bring any pets. And finally, this is yet another time, like when it gets really cold, to be good neighbors. Make sure you check on yours. And if there are elder, any elderly ones who might need help getting out, please take care of them. Oh, Dr. Ali Raja, as always, great advice. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Eric and Ben. Thank you.